There was so much anticipation building up to this new Harry Potter movie, and after I went to see it at midnight, I was kind of just like, oh, it's all over now. Actually, no, I wasn't just like, oh, I went home and cried. And I was filled with so many words and not enough words all at once. And that's kind of how I felt when I read The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. So The Fault in Our Stars is the fifth book, I do believe, by John Green. Looking for Alaska, Will Grayson, Will Grayson, Paper Towns, and Abundance. Catherine's, yes, fifth book by John Green, whom we all know and love very much. Personally, I've read all of his books except for Will Grayson, Will Grayson, and this was my favorite, definitely. I got this book a couple days ago, but I totally just tore through it in one night. Basically, how it ended was me lying in my bed at 2 a.m., surrounded by wet tissues on my bed and just crying my heart out because I, the book was absolutely beautiful. And pretty much everyone in Nerd by Terry has been singing John's praises over this book, but they are well-deserved. They are so well-deserved. John, your power to be to assume the role of a 16-year-old girl with cancer when you yourself are a 30-year-old man who has never had cancer to my knowledge is just ridiculous. I think what I loved about the characters the most, Augustus, I loved his... He had such this desire to be heroic, this, um, like, this ideal heroism, but it was mixed with the reality that he realized that some things would just never happen but yet he just held on to his dreams and I just I love that so much about him and with Hazel I really liked the love she had for Augustus but also the love she had for her parents I mean she said her parents were her two best friends and just to see the care that she gave them the desire not to the, the want not to burden them with herself i just no nah, these characters john green the things you do to me i could blab on and on but i think i'm going to read one of my favorite parts from the book and leave you guys with that i'm not a mathematician but i know this there are infinite numbers between zero and one there's point one and point one two and point one one two and an infinite collection of others of course, there's a bigger set of infinite numbers between 0 and 2, or between 0 and a million. Some infinities are bigger than other infinities. A writer we used to like taught us that. There are days, many of them, when I resent the size of my unbounded set. I want more numbers than I'm likely to get, and God, I want more numbers for Augustus Waters than he got. But Gus, my love, I cannot tell you how thankful I am for a little infinity. I wouldn't trade it for the world. You gave me a forever with the num within the numbered days, and I'm grateful. Erin, I'll see you tomorrow.